Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about the event that is coming finally in FIFA Ultimate Team. That is Team of the Season. We don't actually have any loading screen or anything along those lines just yet. We got a tweet today talking about the voting that is going on on Foothead and FootWiz. You can go on those websites, I'm sure you guys know about this, and vote for your team of the season, you can do it right here. I'll probably post a picture on Twitter here in a little bit of me voting for my community tots. We don't have to do that in this video, but make sure you go and do that. You can have a little bit of a say in the team of the season. But since that came out today, um, we gotta talk about the market movements over the next couple of days. A casual market talk video for the Saturday. And we also need to talk about the new SBC that came out, and that was the right back uh, Valencia SBC. And this is making a lot of waves in the market right now. And it's honestly surprising me a little bit right before team of the season, um, because a lot of people are doing this card and that is evident by some prices on the market. So the first question that I had today when I saw all this stuff, I wasn't very active during the day. A lot of you guys might've been, um, so this might not be new to you. But I went and I saw some of the panic selling on like Alexander Arnold, uh, Kyle Walker, his blue card, and Bellerin, kind of like the Carnival version of him, the higher rated right backs, maybe even Aurier as well. And there's definitely some panic selling on those cards. Um, and it's still probably going on, but I don't really see this as an opportunity to buy in just because um, team of the season is literally right around the corner. And after team of the season comes out, I don't even know if these cards will rebound maybe a little bit in the team of the season, but you're going to get a card like this for, for Alexander Arnold, who might even get a team of the season card at right back. You might see him get a Tots card, which will possibly surpass this card and have even greater stats, which will make it an even better card than Valencia. So that Valencia card today, if you did it, don't feel bad. I mean, it's, it's a good card. It's got great stats. Um, but if you did this card today, then you're probably not going to be looking for an even better rated right back during team of the season, you're probably going to roll with this card for the rest of the year uh, since you have it untradeable. And I would say that it looks to be end game value. Obviously, you have to buy the card and try it out if you really want to see. Um, but that is a good card. I don't really think it's worth doing, though, since team of the season is right around the corner and you have 14 days to do it. So um, Juan Bissaka could be in the community tots. He probably will be Premier League right back that got nominated. So uh, that's one thing we have to keep, kind of keep a watch out for as well. Uh, that card could make it into team of the season. But I want to kind of talk about the rest of the, mar of the, the market and the movements going forward. Um, because team of the season is a huge announcement. And I really thought that today we might have a little bit more panic selling than we actually did. The market didn't really move much. Basically because, again, what, what I talked about in this last week, as we go take a look at Ronaldo right now and some other... Um, high rated cards in this game that really haven't moved. I want to talk about this. You can see down here on the graph where he hit his lowest. It was in the middle of the week this week, or stuff kind of early in middle week, stuff hit its low after the weekend league sell off, just because people had been thinking that team of the season was going to come like on this Friday or this, this Monday. Last year we had the announcement on a Monday. A lot of people just thought that, hey, we're going to get team of the season this week, which we did, but it came after the second week of kind of no content and people waiting for team of the season uh, because they were looking at last year's dates and thought that, hey, it's gonna come out at the end of April or it was like April 27th last year, I think, when team of the season came out. But we had World Cup mode last year. We don't have that this year. And so granted, I assumed in the beginning and a lot of people thought this as well, that team of the season was gonna be a little bit later. And we now know it is gonna be starting on the 10th, a week from yesterday, Friday, or today when I'm recording this video. But what's gonna happen on the market with some of these cards until then? I wanna talk through with that, through that with you guys. That's what I'm trying to say. As I look at these cards across the market, there are so many cards that are still so high, especially some of the rare special cards. Your reset 175, like what is this? In packs, he was 110, 115. Look at this rise out of packs on this Yoris card. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. These Team of the Knockout Stage cards just got way too cheap when they were in packs um, because nobody wanted to buy because they thought Team of the Season was coming. Team of the Season doesn't come. People have nothing to do with their coins. They go and buy teams. 
and spend those coins and play the game or do an SBC or whatever. And look at this, he goes up to 175K, ridiculous. Now we're gonna talk about, I talked about him in my video yesterday with the high rated cards market movements. We're gonna talk about a card like this since it is so rare going forward during Premier League team of the season. If this drops down to a very low level, it could be a great investment. But regardless of that, stuff is still high. So if you have your weekend league team, get out of it. Sell your weekend league team. You know, if you have flips that you're continuing to trade with and make flips, especially on some of these cards, Vertonghen 185, sell it, get it out. Take your coins, take your money, um, because a lot of stuff went up this weekend and it's gonna come right back down to where it was or lower. Now this is, I think the market is going to maintain a slow decline into the beginning of team of the season. It won't go down too terribly much. It'll go down low after this weekend and just kind of continually decline into the next week as we have the community team this season, as well as the introduction to Premier League team this season, which will be in a couple of weeks. So a week after this next week. So two weeks from today, Premier League team of the season, if they follow the pattern that they have in years past, we will see in two weeks from today, the Premier League team of the season. And until then, I think the market is just gonna to continue to trend downward. This is a, a situation where a lot of people have already sold their cards out of their teams, they've already gotten liquid, and this weekend they spent some of their coins to go buy players again. If we look at the daily graph, the market actually went up this weekend as a whole. Look at this. Last Friday, the 26th, uh, 57 points on the market, the end of team in the knockout stage. Look where we're at today, 68 points. That's a huge, huge swing uh, in the market in one week, and it's all because people thought TOTS was coming, and it didn't come. So I think the market's gonna get right back down here to this point, 57, you know, 50, even lower. Like in the beginning of March, after Prime Icon moments before Carnival, I think we're gonna we're gonna get this low again. I mean, obviously the high the high rated gold market, there's a lot more icon SBCs to hold that up higher. So that market number on the index 100 might not go as low as it did then, but it's still gonna it's still gonna drop down a lot from where it was at this weekend, uh, just because. You're gonna have people that are selling off their weekend league teams, getting liquid, and sitting on those coins, like I am right now. I'm very liquid. This is the most coins I've ever had in any FIFA, 21 million. It feels great, feels good, and I'm ready to spend it on a team and on upgrade packs during team of the season, um, which we're gonna continually find more information about here in the next coming days. But market-wise, this weekend, get out of your stuff. Um, we'll talk about the daily objectives here in a second and how that moves the market. But get rid of your teams, I'm serious. Like get your coins, especially the earlier you do it, the better. If you still have a team, if you still have a Cristiano Ronaldo, like if you bought him down here midweek, early week at 940,000 coins, you can sell them right now for 990 and basically break even on a card like that in one week. That's crazy that you're able to break even I mean, uh, it's on a Ronaldo, like that's nuts. Um, just because of the higher amount of tax that you have on a card like that. And then what you're gonna wanna do also is continue to watch the high rated golds. I don't think it's a way to invest right now. We're gonna have a lot of packs open in the next coming days, but they are very high. So if you did a club stock, cue myself going to the club and looking at the cards I have, I think it's a time to, to dish it out. Get those cards out of your club. If you club stocked a couple weeks ago when stuff was low, get it out. Take the coins, and when Team of the Season packs are opened, all oh my goodness, look at this. We're going to be able to sell all of this, aren't we? Is Matic like extinct right now? Because of the uh, Valencia? Oh yeah, 30,000 coins. I probably should have sold this earlier in the day, shouldn't I? We're just going to list them up for 30 and see if he sells, and a lot of other, a lot of this other stuff too. So just go through here, check your, your clubs, and if you have some of this stuff still in here, just get it out because it's so expensive and... Uh, it's, it's gonna come back down when team of the season comes because everybody's gonna have packs to open and all kinds of that stuff. I'll finish selling that here in a little bit, um, but I wanted to mention that to you guys as well. A lot of that stuff is high, especially the 86s and some of the 85s. Those are mostly the higher up ones. Uh, some 87s as well. So we go back here to Footbin. A lot of those are up as well, 30,000 coins, 45K. J just get them out because they're gonna go lower when team of the season comes. That first day of um, community team of the season, there's gonna be packs opened. Stuff's gonna get on the market, but people are gonna hold their safe packs, most people will, until Premier League tots. And that's gonna be stuff that we're gonna to have to talk about in this upcoming week. What are people gonna do with their packs? You know, What's gonna be the mindset for people 
uh, going forward this week. We're going to look at that, but right now, I got to tell you guys, get your stuff out of your club, get your coins. Um, I would not buy any of these cards that are panic sold. They could rebound a little bit, but I mean, you look at the price of that um, Valencia SVC at like 215K, I think. Let me confirm that. 240, all right, 240,000 coins for this Valencia card. And you have Alexander Arnold still chilling here at 350, 360. So I would get him out and, uh, and you know, try not to invest in anything right now. Honestly, just keep him with your coins, keep him liquid, do some quick flips. You can do that and maybe not on the end of this weekend when a lot of people are selling. Um, the one thing you could, I guess, flip would be man of the match cards because of that weekly objective that um, a lot of people probably checked their clubs today. Maybe they had a man of the match in their team. Like this Quincy Promes card went from like 70K to almost extinct. He's like 120, 130 now. And a lot of those man of the matches went nuts all because you can get a 100K pack from the weekly objectives, which is cool. I get it. That is pretty cool. Um, but it just shows you how hard people are willing to work uh, for a 100k pack. And I was also wrong that you can get a lone Valencia. So if you want to try this card out before Tots, if you feel like he's the best thing ever, the best right back you've used this game, maybe do the SBC. But I would, if you can do it for less than 200k, that's what I would feel comfortable with. Um, because a card like Alexander Arnold come Tots, the, the FFS card is definitely going to drop a lot. And his right back team and season card is going to be leaps and bounds better than any other right back. And uh, most people are going to want that in their team to link up with their player of the year, Virgil van Dijk. I bet this SBC is actually up in price as well since some of the higher rated cards have gone up. The van Dijk card being, you know, requiring a lot of those higher rated players in the game. Um, but yeah, that's what I want to like, kind of talk about today is just where I see the market going this weekend. That's what I want you guys to focus on. Right now is kind of not the time to make coins. You can trade, you can flip. Look at these man of the match cards, you know, that are rare, that are now um, very high in demand. You know, you can find people that are going to be finishing the challenge and selling these. And then a lot of people who are going to finish weekend league and go and do the challenge themselves in the midweek to get those packs. And you can see a lot of these are even extinct um, on the market for these domestic man of the match cards. Look at this crazy. This is absolutely crazy. So that's one way that you can trade this week. Make a concept squad of of concept um, man of the match cards and just watch their price fluctuations because there's going to be a lot of demand for those cards this week as they are bought and sold and everything like that for some of these SBCs. Actually, I'm going to watch this Di Maria for 164 because if that sells, that will be ridiculous. Um, he's been like 110, 120 for the last few weeks. But... Again, fun day on the market. We know Tots is coming, and that's the best part. We know Team of the Season is coming, so I wanted to kind of just get on tonight and talk to you guys about um, how I see the market going this weekend. I think it's just going to trickle downhill until Premier League Tots hits. Um, so get out of your stuff if you can. If you bought a team this weekend, sell it, take the coins. And if you're going to do the Valencia SBC, try to save as many coins as you can. I would wait as long as you can as well because uh, it is out for for two weeks basically so when premier league team of the season comes out that is actually when that sbc will go out of packs perfect timing right exactly because there will be a new premier league right back to kind of over and replace that valencia so if you're gonna do valencia just be careful with it uh, but if you're a united fan and you want to make an all united squad obviously that card would be very essential for a manchester united team maybe a throwback team or whatever um, just be careful with the stuff that you're doing in the SBCs, of course. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I see the market going this weekend. It's just going to kind of trickle downward. Now that we know when TOTS is, we know what's coming. Um, we're probably going to get some more information leading up to community team of the season. Um, you're just going to see, I don't know if you'll see panic, like a straight drop off, but there will be a pretty heavy weekend league sell off this weekend as people just get rid of their teams. You're going to see this number from 68, probably dip back down to 60 or below, in my opinion over the next couple of weeks, heading into the most important time of team of the season, Premier League Tots. But we're gonna be looking at a lot of things team of the season related. We're gonna look at last year graphs that we've already been doing. We're gonna look a lot more in depth at that this week. Uh, a lot of, you know, looking at what cards moved a lot last year, maybe some pricing of the team of the season cards. And we have to remember this year that we don't have World Cup mode. Last year we had World Cup mode that was kind of just, you know, sitting out there and it was kind of just hanging and we knew it was coming it was lingering this year we don't have that 
Um, so, and we have a very a much higher market in terms of the amount of coins on the market and, and everything like that. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on what happens with the market and regarding um, some of those movements after team of the season and during team of the season as people try cards and stuff like that. Cause team of the season is probably um, a top two, top three hype promotion in FIFA Ultimate Team throughout the, the entire year of foot, just because of the cards that come out and everything that comes out content wise. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, uh, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.